All right, Josiah, we're building a really cool mobile stand and we're gonna go through the supply list here. There's stuff laying out, but let me let me let you walk us through this. What you got first? What you using? Got three quarter inch plywood. Three quarter inch plywood. All right, now what else you got? We got some wheels we picked up for free. All right, those are really cool old like wagon wheels that you got for free, which is really awesome. Yeah. That saves some money. And then you've got, what are these? One by fours? Yeah. Yes, those are one by fours. And those are just spruce. We're doing untreated because this is gonna be stored inside and it really shouldn't see any uh, bad weather. Uh, and then- We got some rusty wood and stuff from, yeah. we, we picked them up for free too. So rustic wood. Yeah. All right, and then you've got some one by two strips that uh, we call molding strips, right? That we're gonna use. And uh, that's pretty much the extent of it other than some screws and some saws. So let's get busy putting some stuff together. All right, Josiah, we've got some cuts made. Let's talk about this. Um, so this is our bottom shelf, right? And it's gonna go kind of down here in the middle of the wheel. Yeah. And so this is- It's the top shelf. It's the top or the main shelf, yeah. right? So this is gonna go just over top of the where the wheel's at. And then that is an, a little bit of an upper shelf. It's gonna go over top of that. And we may do another one or two. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the dimensions on ours. Now, we decided to go how wide on the main shelf? You know? No. Two foot wide, you don't know? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Two foot wide and 36 inches long. And two foot wide, 36 inches long. 12 inches wide. 33 inches long and you'll see why here in a little while and since this is the bottom shelf we're, we've cut one by twos we're going to frame it up with that and then on the main shelf we've used one by fours and we've made them a little longer and cut them at a 45 on the end and we're going to sand that down and put a handle in there so that they can pull their cart out when they're ready to do business. So the rest of it though, we're using the one by twos and we're cutting exactly, you know, the same size as the actual uh, plywood. So we're gonna put some screws in these. We're using one and a half inch screws, right? Yes. Yes. And we're gonna screw this together. We're gonna come back, possibly make another shelf or two and put all this together. Okay. So these are our, our sides for our main shelf which we've made longer than the shelf itself because we want this to come out. We're gonna sand it down, but we're gonna put a handle through here. We're, so we're using a dowel rod to just go through there. And while we've got these loose, we're gonna ahead and drill in our hole so that they match, so that it's the easy. Way. All right, so here's where we're at. We got their wheel and we're gonna put it on. So we're marked, we've marked because our, we want our wheel to come to about right here, give or take. And we're coming down one foot, seven and a half from the top, and we're going center, which is one and three quarters. So that is our mark right there. And we're using that one inch drill bit to drill a hole right through there, using that as the center. When we're done with that and the other side, we're gonna use this dowel rod. Now, ideally you wouldn't wanna use a dowel rod for an axle, I don't think, but we're not going four wheeling in this, are we? Probably not. Probably not mud Probably. or anything like that. Okay, so given that it's only gonna be about two and a half foot wide, less than three, I feel like this is probably gonna be sturdy enough. If not, we can always come back and put a metal one in it, but this was like $9 at the hardware store, so we're gonna give it a shot. So let's get it done. Okay, so you can see where we had to mark. We're putting this right in the center and then just drilling the hole. All right, so here's our dowel rod or our axle. And it's just gonna go right in there and go straight to the other side, just like that. And then we'll see what we can do about attaching our wheels. Okay, so there's our fancy smancy axle out of a dowel rod. And you can see the hole that we have here and we are going to go on just like so. Now the idea is we're taking a drill bit and we are uh, running it through as close as we can to that and to the wheel. And then we're taking a pin and we are going to push that through that hole. Or in this case, it's a little snug. So we are going to feed it right through that. And you can see, and then we're gonna 
bend it around so that it does not fall out of there and our wheels should roll. Now, like I said, we are not running a race. It's mainly for looks, uh, but it is gonna roll some, but not very far and not very often. So we're not overly concerned. And so that should take care of us. So let's see if it rolls. Here comes our man of the day with his fancy little cart and his awesome wheels and it's rolling. Now, like I said, we're not gonna run races. We're not gonna take major turns, but as far as getting us from point A to point B, it's great. Now, so we got that established. Now we're gonna put in our top part of it. And we're gonna get started on that. Sia, so, you got shelves on there now. This is great. So we got one befores running up. Now what we chose to do was we're going our main shelf here, 12 inches from the bottom of that down to the top of that shelf, correct? Yes. So then from this shelf right here to the, from the top to the bottom is 12 inches. And from the top to the bottom is 12 inches. And then now we're gonna put the roof. a roof, the roof. We're gonna put a roof on it. So we'll come back in a little while and show you exactly how we did that. But you can kind of see what we've got going on here with, we've just put some one and a half inch screws in here is all we've done. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy, nothing. Beautiful. We're going to sand it down and stain it though after we get that roof on. We're going to put that roof on first. Okay, hey, Josiah, you got a roof. Yay! And just in case it rains, you can get under there, you know? Yeah. You're right. No, this is solely for looks. You can kind of see what we've did here. You know, we're just using like old kind of rustic wood. It was kind of left over from a different project. Um, and we just framed it up here. We cut this on a 15 degree angle. And of course this side straight and then went straight across with you know just a normal cut and then you know 15s here so i don't know we may have went overkill but hey did the same thing on the other side and took this ripped one in half so that we can kind of have it on the outside so that didn't have anything exposed that looks good and finished now we just need gutters right yes yes <laughs> so what's next um, we got to sand it and stain it. Sand it and stain it. Okay, well, let's do it. All right, Josiah, are you done? Yes. Okay, what'd you do? We sanded it and stained it. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so pretty. You stained it and it looks amazing. Yes. Very, very good job. And that's like a walnut. Was it walnut? English uh, walnut color? Spe special walnut. Special walnut. Um, so, nice very nice, but we're not completely done yet. Nope. We're going to make a sign. Yes. And it's going to go somewhere. We're not sure where, but we're going to make a sign. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back to that in just yeah. a minute. Oh, you're making a sign. Joe and Joe's. I can't wait to see what kind of business you're doing. This is the last part for your uh, cart? Yes. Okay. Cool deal. And it's done. Yay, look at your sign. Good job, guys. You did a good job building it. Now, wait, what are you gonna try to sell to begin with now that you've got your business? What is this? Uh, cactuses. Cactuses, okay. In coffee mugs, I think, what you're saying. Yeah. And you're gonna set up at our local farmer's market and hopefully sell hundreds and hundreds of cactuses, right? Yep. All right, good job, guys.